What mysterious civilization erected these magnificent statues? Nearly 900 giant statues, all sizes with diverse shapes, are scattered on one of the most remote islands in the world. They are the magnet that attracts thousands of tourists to this island located in the South Pacific region. And it is these unique statues that also pose questions to humanity that up to this day still have no truly satisfactory answers. How, in a place that is considered to be completely isolated from the world, people can build such magnificent statues? What do these Moai statues represent? Why they are made, and how the people who make the statues weigh tons? How can they move them around the island? Why did all the inhabitants of the island suddenly disappear without a trace in the 19th century? And maybe the Moai statues were built by another civilization, a civilization that mankind has never known. Easter Island is located at the southeastern tip of the Polynesian Triangle, in the southeast Pacific Ocean, under the sovereignty of Chile. It has the shape of a triangle made up of a series of volcanic eruptions. It has a subtropical climate, sunny and dry but relatively mild. In addition to the terrain with many rugged hills, the island also possesses many underground caves leading to volcanic craters. The largest volcano on the island is called Rano Raraku, and the highest point is Teravaca Peak, 600 meters above sea level. The reason it is named Easter Island is because it was discovered by Dutch explorer, Naval Admiral Jacob Rogovine in 1772 on Easter Day. Easter Island is one of the most inhabited and remote islands on the planet. The nearest inhabited island is Pitcairn Island, 2075 kilometers away. And the nearest point from the mainland is 3,512 kilometers. That said, it shows how separate Easter Island is from the rest of this world. Of course, referring to Easter Island is referring to 887 giant stone statues scattered throughout the island. The islanders call these statues Moai, and they are placed on stone platforms called AHU. All the statues are made from monolithic stone, which means they are carved from a single rock. The largest Moai statue called Paro is 10 meters tall and weighs 75 tons. Interestingly, only 70 statues are wearing hats out of a total of nearly 900 statues. Those are hats that weigh up to several tons. The tallest cane is up to 12 tons, made of volcanic ash with a distinctive red color. If you Google images for the phrase Easter Island or Moai, the most common results are giant statues with their heads sticking out of the ground. Actually, it's just a floating tank. They all have extremely large lower bodies. Most of the statues' bodies are buried underground. At the same time are engraved inscriptions called petroglyphs. In addition, on the body of Moai, there are also carved antique details, circular swirls and knot shapes. This is said to be a symbol, representing the canoes of the indigenous Polynesian people. However, this is only a hypothesis. It is strange that the inhabitants of the island do not know the origin of these stone statues. No one was ever involved in creating them. Just know that the statues have been there since they were born. Researchers believe that these statues were created by the ancient Rapa Nui people. They were a group of Polynesians who crossed the ocean from the Marquesa Islands between 300 and 400 BC. They are also said to be the first people to set foot on this island. Moai is the greatest evidence of a flourishing culture of the Rapa Nui people in the past. Until now, the construction, movement, purpose, and role of Moai statues is still a mystery of mankind. In addition, the location of these statues, dating back more than 6,000 years, sometimes does not follow any logic. Sometimes arranged in an orderly manner, eyes facing the sea. This causes confusion. There have been many theories put forward. Research groups have found that people on the island live and work mainly around the place where the statue is located. They suggested that maybe the statues were located in places with some valuable resources. According to the analysis data, fresh water is the resource mentioned. Fresh water is a scarce resource on Easter Island. Anthropologist Carl Lipo shared, Every time I find a large source of fresh water, there is a statue of Moai and an AHU there. And we see this again and again. In places where there is no fresh water, we don't find statues and AHU. Since then, scientists have surmised that the statues were placed purely pragmatically. Moai is not exactly a religious symbol of the people here. They simply want to live in this land and build statues there. In addition, 
The excavations also helped scientists find the bones of the salmon. And a new theory arose that the statues were the embodiment of the wish for food. However, the above arguments are also hypothetical because there is no evidence or recorded oral history on the island. Therefore, the purpose of creating Moai statues is still a big question mark that has not been answered. Another mystery is how the ancient Rapa Nui were able to move these tens of tons of stones around the island. Archaeologists believe that these statues were hewn from the highest point of a volcano on the island. After completing a statue, it may have been rolled or dragged down a mountain. Huge blocks of stone up to 18 meters high were carved and all stood upright with no sign of wheels, cranes, even large animals. In 2016, archaeologists came up with a new theory. Perhaps these statues called Moai were designed to move upright in swaying motions using only human resources and ropes. They have observed that the belly of the statue can move forward easily and heavily. They made the statement after a successful experiment. With just three strong ropes and with a little experience, a group of 18 people can easily move a statue has three meters high, weighing five tons a few hundred meters away. The ropes are wrapped around the statue and a group of men will pull one end of the rope and the statue will move forward. Just like that, in a few months a new statue was moved several miles down to the coast. However, the above experiment is still just a hypothesis. And the question of how such monoliths were erected is still an unsolved mystery to this day. The natives simply replied, They are walking statues. Up to the present time, the ancient Rapa Nui civilization still contains many mysteries that we still do not know. The inhabitants of Easter Island created a writing system of their own, Rongorongo, which is far different from the writing systems around the world. So far, linguists have not been able to decipher them. It is surprising that most of the inhabitants of the Pacific Islands are illiterate. Then who taught the inhabitants of Easter Island to write? Or they developed their own writing? Norwegian explorer Thor Heyerdahl said, The Rongorongo writing system was found at the site of the first Red Indians, around Lake Titicaca, in the Andes, South America. But how did the language of the Andes come to be here? That place is nearly 4,000 kilometers from Easter Island. And the most important question, where did the civilization that created the Rongorongo script and the Moai statues go? Why, after the 60s of the 19th century, most of the island's inhabitants disappeared? The destruction of civilization on Easter Island is still unknown to date. The most widely supported theory of the complete disappearance of civilization on Easter Island is the arrival of Europeans, civil war, and epidemics. Human activities overpopulation have led to the depletion of natural resources. Since then, the brilliant civilization of Rapa Nui has been destroyed. It is said that the people here have destroyed the vegetation on the island, causing an ecological disaster. And that is also one of the causes of the disaster here. However, this argument has a weakness. That is, the Polynesians did not arrive on the island around 850 AD, as it is said. Quite accurate radioisotope analysis shows that it was not until 400 years later that the Polynesians arrived on the island. This means that the Rapa Nui culture only lasted for 150 years. A sad ending. Whether in 150 years, humans can turn a green and large island into such a barren desert island. Those arguments still only stop at hypotheses. There is no concrete evidence yet. And because of that, perhaps Easter Island will continue to be one of the world's greatest mysteries. The mystery that humans have not been able to discover. And these statues still stand there as if challenging humanity to find the answer to the question, what really happened on this island?